to the second part of CPU scheduling algorithms and we are going to discuss FCFS in this one. So let's make a function for FCFS and what do you have to pass over here? We are going to pass our NAB that is names, arrival time and burst time lists. So from this uh, now in FCFS the logic is that we sort all of our processes by their arrival time in case the arrival times are mentioned uh, in a non-linear way we sort them and yeah we just keep on adding them to our process queue and our time queue and then we'll pass it to our GAND function so let's do it sorting so we'll first have to test whether we know how to implement a bubble sort algorithm okay let's sort a normal array a normal list by using bubble sort so that is for i in range n minus one And for i in range, okay, we can go up till n. So for g in range, n minus i, okay, we go from i till n minus i. So and yeah, we see if our n of j is greater than n of j plus 1, we swap those. So what do we do? n of j and n of j minus 1 will be swapped. and then we'll print our array n to see if we know how to bubble sort <laughs> let's see I'll keep the main function aside for now and I'll call bubble sort for uh, a random string of random list of elements so this is what I want to sort show whether I've implemented it correctly uh, okay <laughs> length of it I am really sorry for the background noise let's see if this works already going out of range so maybe minus one everywhere let's see yes so it is working fine we know how to implement bubble sort so let's get rid of this now we know how to sort elements are going to receive NBA or NAB <laughs> NAB and for uh, yeah for the range NAB we are going to sort according to arrival times so here wherever there is this the condition will be according to arrival time but the sorting we have to sort all three arrays all three lists because they contain the data for the same process at the same index so we need to sort all three of them So we'll have a process queue 
so let's let's just name it as Q and a time Q for passing it to our Gantt chart. And initially, the first place we wanted to be nothing, and the first place for the time we wanted to be zero, and then we are going to append other things. So once it is well sorted, we will we will run a loop. We will run a loop. all elements in our lists what we'll do is we'll keep on adding the burst time so we'll first append q dot append name and t dot append burst times okay and not just burst times in this we are going to append uh, yeah, the way I showed you the Gantt chart it is a cumulative thing okay, we increment each last time with the current burst time so likewise what we will do is uh, we will do length of t minus 1 t at that position and we'll add our burst time to it burst of i and here also we'll give it as n of i and then we'll try running it And for my convenience, I have created these three lists which I'll be passing to my FCFS function. So let's just pass nab to it and let's see if it works correctly. Um, I am not printing anything. I will print a Gantt chart for this. I am really sorry for the background sounds. I have to pass my Q and T to it and is it working correctly see the total time is 4 plus 3 and yeah it, it is correct I guess see, it is 14 total time is 14 and according to their arrivals sorted them according to their arrivals so p p come p1 comes in at one uh, no it should have started with p4 i'll i'll correct it okay uh, our sorting we should have started it with zero and now it is working correctly our Gantt chart is displaying correctly as per the arrival time we've sorted it. So that's it for the implementation of FCFS. Now for this you can just comment this out and uncomment these lines and it will work just fine. So in the next video we'll be discussing priority scheduling non-preemptive. So thank you so much for watching.